Okay, um, my name's Thorea Fleming. I'm 59. I've lived in Fayetteville, Arkansas for about 20 years now. And all that time, I've had fibromyalgia. Um, we didn't know what it was at first. I'd have pains. I got checked for arthritis. I got checked for, um, what do you call it, carpal tunnel syndrome. And, you know, they kept checking me and saying, we don't know what's wrong with you. We know you're not a hypochondriac because I have other physical conditions like diabetes and stuff. Um, but they just didn't know how to help me. So eventually, I'm going to say about eight years ago, I got diagnosed as having fibromyalgia. And um, while that was a relief to have a diagnosis, it didn't help because gradually through the years, my body's deteriorating. I had a lot of pain in my hands and arms and shoulders and neck, um, and then various pains throughout my body, but that was where it was concentrated. And nobody knew anything to do. I asked them if there was a diet. They said they didn't know of any diet. Um, they put me on painkillers on tramadol. That helped some with the pain. It took the edge off. It did not get rid of the pain. And it got to the point to where I just wasn't doing anything. Um, I remember calling up a friend of mine one day and I was crying who has fibromyalgia. And I said, I don't know what to do. I, anything I do, I'm hurting so bad that I'm crying. I, I hurt so much. And she said, some days are just like that and you just have to lay down on the couch or your bed and cry. And that is not hopeful, especially when you have family and you have children at home and, um, and you're thinking, this is getting worse. It's not getting any better. Nobody has any answers. There was uh, problems with my memory, big problems with my memory. Um, people called it fibro fog. And uh, that was not good. And, you know, I kept checking on the internet, checking with different people that had fibro, and nothing seemed out there to really help. And then one day my sister-in-law, who's a chiropractor, brought me in to meet someone called Dr. Katinka. And um, I met her. And my sister-in-law said something about fibromyalgia and Katinka, and I kind of blew it off because it just seems like there's nothing to help. So I wasn't going to waste my money on something else. And finally, I got so bad that I was living on my couch or in my bed. And I was desperate. And my husband and I don't have a lot of money. He's a machinist. And I knew that... Um, I, if we went to Dr. Katinka, it would be, you know, that we would be paying on our own. And we went to see her because I was so desperate. I was like, I have no life. I have absolutely no life whatsoever. I'm useless, useless to my family. I'm useless to the people around me. Um, I don't have any value. That's how I felt, totally valueless. So we came for a consultation. And I really liked her. I didn't understand everything she was talking about. <laughs> but we decided we would give it a try. And out of, she asked me what my pain was out of 1 to 10. And my pain at that point in time was a 9. Sometimes an 8 if I was lucky, but mostly a 9. Mm -hmm. 10 being I'm laying on the couch crying because I'm in so much pain. Mm -hmm. So, 9. Um, I started coming to her, and I can't tell you that it was dramatic, but it was slow and steady, like the tortoise. Just slow and steady, I got better and better until now. Um, I think I'm like 13 weeks out in treatment now. Um, I'm down to a two, regularly, out of ten. So, that's my story, and I'm happy to tell it, and it's worth it every bit of money that we have paid, every bit of time that it's taken to come over here to be treated, I am so thankful for what has been done for me.